we're here and we continue to grow yeah. and you know and the, you know the next sister that comes in as well she'll get in you know she'll be able to bond you know with us and grow with us as well but like i said a lot of people you know, and that's and I and I think the most high that's nothing that we've ever experienced where we like, oh y'all know y'all just doing that for the camera. Yes, and, fake. And, and I I'm not thank God that we never experienced that. What's your name? What's your name? Ashley Judah. You gotta talk to the Hey, Ashley. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm a pawn in this game of life. We call chess that word that manifests. Dear Lord, I try my best to break the chains of flesh. Mind gone now. It means to be bitter, have ill feelings, have resentment, bad blood, animosity, hostility, antagonism. Is this you? Ask yourself that question. Is this how you go about your day? Is this how you serve your husband? Is this how you are in your home? Acrimony. All right, all right, shalom, shalom. I need you huda yoro. I'm Judah the Shooter. We back at it with another video. Y'all thought we was done. No, we're not done. Uh, Propolybook.com. If you have not got the book, The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny, guess what? You're going to get deleted. It's not personal, all right? It's just business, all right? So once again, Propolybook.com. As you already know, you can definitely get the merchandise, of course. Boom! We got the shoes. If you see a color that you may like, um, with the jackets that my wives may have, you can definitely go to propolybook.com and when you order the jacket, put in the description which color you like the best. And of course, we can definitely go ahead and get you going. Um, we about to go ahead and get it started. Um, this might anger some people. It may not. Either way, like, share, and subscribe. Keyword share too, you know, because you might. Save some lives. So we about to go ahead and get it in. The Unwritten Rules of Polygyny, ProPilotBook.com. Let's go ahead and get it started. I'm going to go ahead and bring in the sister wives of the house of yours truly. Let's get it. Come on with it. <laughs> right. Right, all right, all right. Come on in and sat on down, sat on down. Okay. Sat on down, sat on down, gather on in. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. All right, so everybody gathered on in, so whenever y'all ready. Shalom, we're the Sister the Wives of the House of Judah. That's right. You may know our Lord as Judah the Shooter. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications to be notified when we upload a new video. Ding! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we about to go ahead and get it in. Coming in with the energy I see is thou. All right, so um, let me go ahead and pull my screen out really quick so I can see you all better. All right, I got a little screen, a little monitor that I got them on. All right, so, well, third video of the day. We finna go ahead and get it started. Um, all right, so look, let's go ahead and let's tell these sisters why we're here. What's up? What's going on? Okay, well, this video that we're doing today is called The Ways of a Wicked Woman. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be also dialoguing off of the movie Acrimony because that is a perfect example of a wicked woman. Um, I, know, I, know, I know a lot of people who probably watch the movie like, uh, I don't think she was wicked, but she mm -hmm. definitely has some wicked ways and we're going to break that down. Um, with the scriptures today. Oh, wow. All and right. that's Ecclesiasticus 25, which, what we'll be going over um, also with the video. 
Alright, okay, okay. So one more time. What's the name of that movie again? Acrimony. Acrimony. Alright. So of course by now you've already learned the definition of acrimony because we've already told you what it was, thanks to Sister Angela. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah, Hallelujah. my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, youtube.com slash house of Judah. All right, so ladies, let's go ahead and get it started. Well, before we jump in it, just remember to go to propolybook.com, get your copy of Unwritten Rules of Polygyny. Right. Um, just remember, if you do not have your copy of the book, it will be deleted off social media. Nothing personal, just yep. business. Yep. Um, you are able to obtain our uh, apparel as well as counseling service. In order to do so, you have to have your own copy of the book to get that. That's right, that's right, that's right. All right, so what you got for these sisters today? Well, we again, um, this video, as my sister stated, is it was really good to the movie Acrimony. We uh, realized that that movie was The Rock 25, 13 on down, and it's finest. Uh, a lot of women try to take that, that and twist it like, you know, if you take care of your husband, then it's going to cause you to be bitter. Right. No, you're doing it bitterly, and that's why you're wicked. Mm -hmm. That what you become wicked is what makes you wicked because you're doing it because yes. you have to, not right. because you're it's pleasing you to do so. Right. Um, and that's what this video is really geared towards. I know a lot of you women will look at that movie and be like, "Oh man, I would have did that because he was just right. no, you even you even wicked for saying so." Yeah, exactly. Um. So let's get started. So again, uh, as my sister said, we're gonna go to Sirach 25, starting mm -hmm. in verse. Uh, actually, we start at verse one, read one and two, and then jump down to thirteen. Okay. Um, Sirach 25, verse one. And three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before God and men: the unity of brethren, the love of neighbors. A man and a wife that agree together. Three sorts of men my soul hated. And I am greatly offended at their life. A poor man that is proud. A rich man that is a liar. And an old adulterer that do it. Do it. Yeah. And then you say go to it. 13. Alright. So Rock 25 verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman any plague but the plague of a heart of the heart and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman that's messed up yeah. you'd rather have somebody that's kill steal rob <laughs> rather than dwell with somebody a wicked woman yeah. and and that's truly what that man was dealing with a wicked way he loved her still he, did. he, he loved did. her still even when she put him away which we know that's against can't the bible yeah you can't yeah. do that she put him away and he still at the end of the day was like i, I love you i don't want to divorce you right right can but you she, work it out yeah. she getting wicked counsel from you wicked sisters that want to be on top of wickedness even right. co come on even more wickedness right so she get wicked counsel from her wicked ass i mean wicked sisters <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. She's not yeah. getting uh, wise counsel. Wise no. counsel. She's basically just getting, uh, you know, things that feel good, you know, to please her because of her feelings and her emotions. And that's usually how us as women, when we're not, um, you know, coming from out of the scriptures, we're usually coming out of feelings and emotions. Oh, I wouldn't do this or right. I right. wouldn't do that. And it couldn't be me and blah, blah, blah. So she wasn't getting the counsel. She, w Those were her blood sisters right. yeah. at that. So she needed some spiritual sisters to guide her because she was off and all, and, and all the things that she was doing. But the bad thing was... They ran their husbands. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, too. They, they were definitely sex as well. They, yeah. they ran their husbands. So how they gonna give her wise counsel when they they wore the pants in their relationships? Right. right. 
so it, it wasn't gonna work out but it, it started off as if you remember in the beginning it started off her she was you know down for him he, she mm -hmm. got him a car she paid for the rest of his education yeah, kinda but then sorta. started yeah, she just kind of because it was like all alone she was still counting up all of the things that she was doing yeah. she was tallying it up yeah. from the beginning yep yeah. So it wasn't like she was actually doing these things. And she kind of showed who she was before. Yeah. Before with the just At the beginning. Of course yeah. she did. The, with the craziness, you know. Yeah. Like just, yeah. Yeah. So she showed you who she really was. And then when you married her. He still yeah, he's he's still, still married, married her. Yeah. He's still, still married her. And, and she still married him. Yeah. yeah. So she you obviously know. saw something, but she just allowed herself to. They needed some house counsel. <laughs> they did. They really did. They really From the did. start. Yeah. From the beginning. They really the needed counsel. Yeah. They needed counsel. Yeah. They yeah. really did. Because in the beginning when, you know, they were together, you know, dating, he ended up cheating on her. Right. Yeah. Quote unquote. So called ended up cheating on her. You know, he was polygynous. So she did some <laughs> right. she yeah. was That's true though. though. That's true yeah. though. He could have been <laughs> honest yeah. about it, but of course a lot of men they don't know. Right. They're they've lost their heritage, you know, their culture. So they're coming back into like, hey, you know, this is actually a natural thing. I don't have to right. hide this from you because right. mm -hmm. so right. and then also we don't know how she was. You know, it was a movie, but you don't know how she really look, was look, look, also. Look. Even with that being said, let's not forget that in the movie it was stated that he hadn't talked to her for two days. Yeah, that's so that's true. where All that's where her regret day. came. That's two where days. her regret came. She started adding up stuff because at first she was like, "I really like him," right. and then when she bought the car, right, he didn't call her for two days, she and so now she like, yet. "I bought anything, you a car, and now you ain't gonna call me." Right. So right. that's when the start. That's when it really started her tallying things up because she mm -hmm. was she 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 liked. She told her sister like, "Don't talk to him about you know, don't talk to all him like that." I really like this guy, yeah. and she bought him a car, and then it's like, now you didn't disappear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. I gave you my money. It's now you now you gone. Yeah. yeah. So that's when it started tallying up. Mm -hmm. That's when she started tallying that stuff up. Yeah. Wow. I wanted to go back to uh, <laughs> when we were talking about how uh, she got wicked counsel from her wicked sisters. Yeah. yeah. She did have one friend, but you know I I feel that she was too afraid. She was scared and not willing to tell her what was right. She was kind of like timid. Yeah. And, she was. Timid, you know. For and sure. so. When when you're addressing your sister, you know you need to be uh, more firm. aggressive and firm and stand on the words that you're saying out of your mouth when right. it comes to the Bible, when it comes to you know obeying, listening, submissiveness, yeah. all of that stuff. So yeah, and then they'll know that you really believe in what you're saying. Right. And you no. gotta you gotta roar. You can't yeah. be a mouth, right. especially right. when it comes to a wicked sister because yeah. she gonna back you into a corner. Cor correction right. in general, really. Yeah. Because if, if you correcting somebody and you doing it, I mean, you know, if you doing it real passive, it sometimes it comes off like all oh, well, it ain't that serious. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's that, true, that's, that's really true. Um, it can come off like that. Again, you gotta you gotta give them that tough love. You gotta give them that mama love. Like, look her. <laughs> right. this is do it or die. Yeah. Yeah. You either gonna do it right or you gonna die. What what That's you gonna true. choose? That's true. That's true. That's true. So yeah. yeah. You gotta you gotta do it or, or you gonna die. So we as sisters and a, a lot of reasons a lot of sisters don't speak up and say nothing because well I don't want her mad at me. I, right. I don't want her to well, either what the song say better than you than the right. Lord after me. Right. 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 They uh they they want to save friendships. Yeah, right. no. You know, so, I'm gonna, yeah. I'd rather save my soul because I'm gonna get penalized for not saying nothing. Right. Yeah. So whose soul gonna be online? Mine or yours? Right. That's right. right. That's right. All right, y'all. Let's get to it. Verse fourteen. And any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me. And any revenge but the revenge of enemies. There is no head above the head of a serpent, and there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. See, they say they rather dwell they rather dwell with a lion and a dragon. Two of the most fearful animals. Mm -hmm. And in that movie she was both. 
And she, she told him. She came out and said, you know I can be the MF devil. Yeah, yes. she said that. Yes, she, she it came out of her mouth. That. Like, you know I can be the yeah. MF and devil. Because yeah. wow. she was like, he, 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 she just talked so bad to him in front of her sisters and their husband. And he just in general. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. the whole time she was doing that, like, I never paid attention to it the first time I seen it. But this last time that we watched it, I seen she was ashing her cigarette on all, yeah, his, on stuff. all his stuff. So yeah. she had all no his respect. Stuff. Like in the pile. Going on the floor. Yeah, in the pile on the floor. And she's smoking a cigarette and just ashing onto That's his just, stuff in wow. front of her sisters, their her, their husbands, and everything. Yeah. Just sitting there. That's just an example of the wickedness that a woman will do. Because right. we could talk all day about the men and past trauma and things that, you know, have been cheated on and cheated on. But mm -hmm. they don't do things like that. They won't sit there and, you know, of course we know it's... Wicked men yeah, out there, okay. Right. You know that wickedness, but majority of the men, like, they won't sit there and do that. Put all your clothes in a pile and sit no, there they, and they don't. cigarettes on it and bleach it and throw your stuff outside and stuff Set like that. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. bush your windows out. Yeah, like, that's yeah. not the stuff that they will do, but yeah. that's more so of what a woman will do yeah. because, again, are we wicked. are wicked. Right. Not us as women as a whole, but we have wicked women. And, yeah. and it tells you that you got a whole chapter for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wickedness that we yeah, can display. Yeah, we are definitely. It, it is sad. I remember when um, our first started courting King, and he was like, we read over this. I'm like, dang, straight bad she does, man. Right. Right? I, I had a moment like that with him, too. Like, the Bible really did my like, win. I was like, for real. straight bad she does. Wicked women, yeah, yeah. Those wicked women. I was like, man, just move on to that subject. Right. Yeah. subject. Yeah. Yeah. He, he know they running rapid. Yeah, right. he already know what it is. I think we all had that moment. But she, she, she did. did, and he was like, Hard pill to swallow, you know, right? Just, hey. But it's easy when you chew it. He, it's he crazy was, because you start growing and then you start realizing what you're reading about. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. that's what it's talking you about. You either believe what the Bible say or, or you don't. don't. Or you that don't. is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But go ahead, Josiah. What you saying? Blank period. I had cut you off. What you yeah, saying? Yeah, no, no. It, it, it's, it's sad because in the movie, he was a noodle back. Yeah. He, he didn't stand on his own two feet because when she was, you know, telling him and disrespecting him in front of the sisters, he was like, please don't talk to me like that. And she was like, get your crap and get on my house. He was yeah. like, I'm not going nowhere. And then she was like, you know I can be the MF and devil. But she was like, you yeah. know me. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> you proud of that? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you proud yeah. of that? And, and it's sad because some of y'all women are proud of that. Y'all yeah. yeah. are proud to be that type of woman. Yeah. Right? When, when we go grass hold to the fact that we supposed to be meek, modest, shamefaced. Yeah. Yeah. When are we going to grasp that concept? Yeah. <laughs> Never? Oh, on Judgment Day? You're going to be like, oh man, I should have listened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're bad. Too late. Listen now. Too late. It, it is. Yeah, it's too late. Too late. Too late. Let's say you got it, so you, you disrespected your husband today and, and you died of your sins. Then what? Because you disrespected him, you disrespected Christ. Too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll be like, I should have listened to him. Right. And then you're going to be one of them quadrants you can see over into the into Abraham's bosom, you're like, I ain't, I want to be over there. But you can't. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so where we at? Alright, Bert, where we on? Uh, that was, uh, we 17. 17. Okay, verse 17? Yeah. So once again, we're in Sirach, chapter 25, verse 17. Sirach is also known as Ecclesiasticus. If you have the original King James Version Bible, you have 14 books known as the Apocrypha. And that's where you'll find the book of Ecclesiasticus. Not to be confused with Ecclesiastes, but Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. All right, so in chapter 25, pick it up in verse 17. Let's go ahead and get it. Where we at? Let's get Sirach it. Sirach 25 and 17. Come on. The wickedness of a woman changes her face mm. and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. So you see that? So she darkens her countenance. That means her face will start looking, start looking real angry. Yeah. You, you know, flesh showing. Yeah. And that whole movie, her face 
was darkened the whole yes. entire yeah. she had yeah, well, extreme you could just see it on her face just the wickedness yeah. yeah you didn't see her rejoicing in him yeah. and you know lifting him up and having joy and in the fruits of the spirit you nope. saw her opposite definitely yeah. in the flesh and just, she she got mad because something that she did she uh she can have kids yeah. yeah, she because she she let the devil come on and take over her, yeah. and she rammed her car into his RV. Yeah, and when, she she smashed yeah, allegedly. Yeah, she, she was allegedly yeah. cheating. She had a history, and she had to have a boy hysterectomy at the age of 20, 19, I don't 20. even. I think she was, was like uh, twenty something. No, she said she, said she was his, like nineteen. She said nineteen or twenty. She had a full yeah. hysterectomy. Yeah, so she couldn't have children. So. <laughs> It's not that that deep. was her fault. Yeah, it's <laughs> not that, deep. that was her fault, and then that's why we mentioned, you know, women they would do all that extreme stuff, bust yeah. your windows out, and yeah. if you was that angry and you weren't gonna deal with that man anymore, you know, that's on you. Leave yeah. if that's the case. But what you did was psycho. You could have killed those people right. all yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But she said that. Yeah. She would what burn the house down or whatever. With her in it. Just to get the one that hurt her. She would burn the house down with herself in it just to get the person that wronged her. Yeah. Yeah. You need to really it's but it's women like that have that that sick mindset and they're gonna be in the lake of fire. Yeah. 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 And then then turned around after all of that, after she rammed his car, oh let him in so he can come in and talk to me. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, at the she house she did at the house with the with the wicked sisters. <laughs> yeah, she did. Yeah, she and I'm pretty sure she didn't apologize. Has a, no, no, no she so. didn't. No, no, she didn't. I think no. he was the one apologizing. Yeah, he, he was the one apologizing for. He was always yeah, meek cheating. in his yeah, way. He was. He was a simp, but he was humble. Yeah, he was. He was. And he just, he just wanted the best for her. Yeah, he did. And I want I want to say he he wanted to do the best for her. Yeah, he wanted to get there, but it was like circumstances, situations that was holding him back from actually getting there. Yeah, at that time, and women are impatient. They, yeah, I'm working on myself. Right, <laughs> they want you to be on but, yeah. for sixty years. <laughs> they want you to be there, you know, for them, and you know just help me out you know i'm still struggling with this and i need help with this with that but that man he better not have no struggle he right. gotta have a yeah. his 401k better be on point he right. better have this car he better have everything stacked up yeah or you know so I'm that's gone. just it's yeah. just it don't make no sense we don't have the long suffering it is for our, our husbands it and, have us. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what my sister you know uh angie said when she watched my video yesterday like the white men they'll they'll be there and support their men uplift them and right, whatever right. dreams they have they're for them yeah but the man and if he have any mess ups or issues that have happened in life you bring that up constantly over yes, and yes, over yes, no yes, you don't yes, try to thoughts. help him yeah there's no help just talking about him just dogging him yeah so that's that's an example that we just that the movie that we just saw and that's what we're going to talk about we're going to continue to talk about yeah yeah right I wanted to um, say something uh, to the fact of when you have issues or situations going on in your house and then you want to go outside your house and talk about it. You know, you want to bash your husband and, you know, say all these ill things about him. And then when you realize that you want to work on it, those same people have that same ill will to him. him. They have that, that same ill will towards him. But then they also have all of that information that, that you, you right, share. That you share. Because you're and, not just Right. So just be wise. If you have an issue, seek sound counsel. Don't get with other people. And they yeah. may be having issues or they may be jealous of you. Or They'll tell you whatever the case may yeah. be. Oh, but yeah. find someone where you can get sound counsel right. from. And, you know, propolybook.com, get yep. the book, mm-hmm. pay for the council with the House of Judah. Yes. So you can get on the right track. And then you won't have to be like Akramoni. You yep. won't yep. have to be like her. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. We're on verse 18. Hold on, real quick. Oh, okay. I got some curveball questions. Put <laughs> <laughs> be a video without Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> I can't let some of this shit ride. <laughs> so, and this can anybody can answer. So it's not just Angela getting picked on right now. Uh, my first question is because as I was talking, I was sitting here writing questions down in my notebook. <laughs> I thought I figured you was doing something. Yeah, yeah I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here writing writing questions down. I'm on their ass. So you see, look, hey, hey, I, hey, 
You get it how you get it. <laughs> so they about to get the questions live uh -huh. right now. <laughs> and all this stuff will prepare y'all for live videos and stuff like that. So That's question, this is right. for the sake of the brethren right now. Why do you, I mean, why do it seem like nice men get fucked over? You know what I'm saying? Because don't get me wrong, like you said, Judith, there are some wicked men out here. And there are some brothers that don't deserve one woman, let alone fucking two. Yeah. Hell no. We know that. Yeah. You know, I talk to brothers that just, nigga, you ain't even mentally stable for <laughs> one damn woman. How the fuck you trying to get two? So we get that. But right now, we're not talking about them. We're talking about brothers out there who are generally good men are trying their best to be good men because you know us all men we all got flaws we all working on it but there are brothers that are generally uh, trying to be good men they are generally seeking love but they can't seem to find it seem like them being nice they just end up getting fucked over in the end yeah you know and I, what i mean by getting fucked over they get taken advantage of you know what i'm saying prime example you know one of my brothers won't say his name but you know we see his situation What's going on? You know, his life is just being ruined by that type of woman. Mm -hmm. You know, and y'all know who I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, why does it seem like, because why does it seem like they just get fucked over? What's going on? Like, anybody can answer this. You know, give the blunt, hardcore truth. What's up? Um, I would say, one, some women, you know, once they realize that that man is, you know, like meek and you know, he doesn't really say much on certain things, they'll kind of take advantage of it. And then also that man, he hasn't quite tapped into his role as the head. You know, the roles have been reversed. Yeah. She's the head and he's kind of under her. So he's now being submissive to her, yeah. you know, and doing the things that she, you know, require of him. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be the role reversed. So, Women, they just take they just take advantage of men like that because they don't men don't they don't stand up for them, themselves. Mm -hmm. If you like it, I love it. You like for her to talk about talk right. down on you, and you know belittle you and make you seem like you're not the the man that you are right. because of the flaws that you may have or the things that have happened to you. Then hey, that's what's gonna happen to you if you don't stand up and be the man that you're supposed to be. That's true. That's good. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You also have women that. I guess, cause I guess I can say non-believers, if that makes any sense. Like you've mm -hmm. been with so many bad men for so long, right. and then when yeah. you finally get a good one, yeah, you don't trust it, and so yes. you sabotage it. Yes. Not conscious, mm. subconsciously, yeah. but you yeah. you sab you sabotage it because you you're used it. to the worst, and so right. you like yes. you gonna just mess it up before it messes you over again. Right. Yeah. So you just like don't put your all into it again. It's like. Uh, whatever you know and become you become a non-believer and just can't believe like what's the catch i know you're not this good you right. want yeah. something you're gonna do something you know so it, it could be that too yeah wait well, for we, him to mess up yeah where do you think that's coming from man like, yeah uh, i'm sorry no no you good <laughs> no you good Trump. Oh. it was a, yeah. it was a uh, test yeah. hurt <laughs> people hurt people Right. Yeah, that's true. Facts. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. Anybody else want to kind of chime in on that? No. So, what do you think the brother, what do you think he should do to, I guess you could say, not get the shit into the stick so much in that particular area? So, you got two answers again. Okay. Um, coming from a woman that I described. You can either have patience mm. and try to help her heal, try to heal those wounds. Mm. Um, that's if that man has the patience to do it. Yeah. Mm. Um, that takes actually a really special man to do because a lot of men don't have the time or want to or want to put the time and energy into it because mm. some women are just hurt that bad. It's like, yeah, yeah only God can heal you. Look, I, <laughs> so look, I gotta I, look. I gotta cut you off real quick because I can feel a brother saying, "Well, how do I know if?" It's worth being patient with versus like because Judith was saying earlier this how some of them type of women were like I'm working on it. You that's what I'm saying. I'm that's saying? why you have two different answers. Okay, go ahead. Well, let me shut the fuck up. Go ahead. <laughs> Maybe I jumped the gun. No, go ahead. No, no. So that's why I say you have two different answers because the woman that Judy described, 
Okay, so you know a woman that is working on it, yeah. and a woman that's just saying, I'm yeah, working on it. Right. There's a big difference. Well, well look, you, difference. everybody don't you know can, the big difference. You, what the fuck does that mean? You can see the a woman, okay, so a woman that is working on it, that's saying, okay, a woman that's saying that she's working on it, mm. and she ain't really ain't, yeah. you're not gonna notice a change. That's you're not, not you gonna notice that right. every day is still the same, every day she a effed up woman okay. and she's gonna continue to do what she went uh, months can go past and she's still on the same BS that she was on the first day you met her right? okay. now a woman that says that she's working on it and it is you may see subtle changes it might not be drastic changes because she is a work in progress right. yeah. but you see subtle changes you see little bitty things that you know she's opening up to you more she's uh being a little bit more affectionate with you she's um complimenting you more she's you know smiling a little bit more she's seeing she's 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 seeing herself worth a little bit more because she's she's slowly trusting into you 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 slowly knocking down those walls okay and those type of women you can see you can say okay do I have the patience to continue to help her? Yeah. Now the yeah. woman that Judy's talking about that, that says that she's working on what you know she's working. Yeah. It, That's not true. Kick it to the curb. You got to let right. that go. You okay, okay, go. okay, 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 okay. Hey, look, see, hey, y'all getting these answers live? You know what I'm saying? And I'm asking them and letting them, you know, speak on how they feel. Anybody else want to chime in on it? Anything? No. Okay. Well, next curveball question. Why do you think men apologize to the woman even when she did him wrong? Because we see this. We witness that. It's That's a true. norm. What the fuck is going it's on? It's a norm. Yeah. It's like uh, like the video we just did. Happy wife, happy life. As long yeah, as true. If you could calm her down. And it, make her happy. Yeah, make her happy long enough for her to move past the situation. And maybe, you know, it won't go to where it can mm-hmm. go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Just, just cause, just to defu- defuse the bomb. I, I don't yeah. know. I can't even count on my hands how many times I've seen like movies and stuff. It's like, even when she's wrong, she's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, she's just right. Yeah, yeah. and that. that's not the case all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Kind of like the customer's always right. Yeah, right. Like no, the woman's right. always right. Right, <laughs> and, then, and then also like it's like a. Uh, it's a woman's world. You know, right. Everything yeah. revolves around the woman. So you have to make it right. I have to make her, you know, happy. I have to make yeah. her happy and yeah. feel good. I can't leave it like this, even though if it was if it was a shoe on the other foot, like my sis said, she wouldn't even apologize for what she did. Right. So it's just sometimes men, like they said, women, women are wicked. Yeah. So yeah. how can you expect an apology? And you have the men who are some of them are you know humble and. You know, they will apologize because they know right and wrong and they know like, hey, I'm sorry. It don't it, it doesn't hurt to say I'm sorry if, if you did something. Right. right. But if he didn't do anything, of course, you know, but it's a woman's world. Right. So. right. It's like that uh video. Remember that video we seen um when the girl thought her um her boyfriend Yeah, when she know her it was her anniversary. Yeah, it was their anniversary. Yeah. And he had got a text message that said, Come and get these cakes. cakes. Yeah. And um she thought <laughs> that he was going to get some cakes. Yeah. Right. And I eat followed sex. him, yeah, followed him there. And bust out his windows, and he literally was going to get cakes that he had got made for their anniversary yeah. to surprise wow. her. And, you, and she couldn't even say sorry then. She, yeah. was, like, she was like, "Oh, oh well, well, you should have made me. Uh, you should have been honest with me. me. Right. Tell me what was going yeah. on." He's like, "It was supposed to be a surprise. Oh yeah. well." That's women again. They want to know, know everything. Yeah. So you didn't tell me. Yeah. Wow. So I so I got another question. I was over there typing away. <laughs> So, dealing with that, you got these type of women, right? He obviously, it's like every time he come to her, he, you know, he runs into a, a dead end with this. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, this same woman, she wants a man that wants to communicate. <laughs> Meanwhile, right. he can't fucking communicate because when he try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, even voice how he feels, she boom, she blows up at him. Yeah. yeah. Which leads me to this next question. Why do you think men can't vent to women? Because um, Go ahead. most times it's because they would definitely, okay, the type of creatures that we are as women, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to be up front, um, we can be very vindictive. Yes. Yeah, so, with that being said, he can 
they can have pillow talk all day long. Yeah. But the moment that she doesn't get her way or something happens and he have to check her and put her back in order, mm -hmm. she's going to bring that up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I want to yeah. give an example. <laughs> I've seen it. Now, first. give an example. I won't, I won't give... Yeah. I definitely won't give names. Because look, because you know how sometimes but, when we talk off camera, I'll be yeah. like, babe, like the shit y'all be telling me, I'm like, yeah. that's the shit y'all need to be telling these yeah. sisters. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this is real shit. Sometimes people want to come to the eye Fuck all that. We know the house do you motherfuckers get along. Give us the real <laughs> shit. Yeah. We know yeah. All right. We tired of seeing you, you yeah. motherfucking help us happy. Right. Give us the real shit. Talk to them. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Like, you ain't got to say a name, but just right. give a I situation. Won't say no names, because it may help somebody. And, and as yeah. we know, we know it's not personal. Right. It's never personal. Right. It's just business. <laughs> but go ahead. Well, this actually, the scenario that I'm going to give you is actually another scenario that is similar to it in the book. So you really need to get the book. Ooh. So you can understand where this is coming from. Okay. But when I say a woman is vindictive, I mean they remember everything and they strategically wait until it's time to use the, the armory. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It, or the uh, the bullets. Yeah. So... They think that thing through. We're, we're not dumb creatures. We are very smart, but we're just smart sometimes in the wrong way. Mm. And we use it in the wrong way. Um, so, let's say uh, there is a man, a brother and a sister that's courting or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's say they, they marry and uh, the brother has some issues mm -hmm. in the sex area. You know, we and did. So <laughs> I talk about that in the book too, don't I? Oh, right. <laughs> right. So he's a little, you know, weak in that area, or whatever. She's been courting him all this time, okay? And she's been, she hasn't been complaining or nothing. Just yeah. she been rolling with the punches with him, whatever he's doing to figure it out or whatever. Okay, he gets on her about something. It's something small like Oh, I did talk about this in the book. Yeah, okay. You yeah. know, or why the laundry piled up. Oh, you ain't do the yeah. laundry or the kids yeah. dirty or you know, crying. Ain't no food to eat. Mm -hmm. I just came from work. She will go back in her mind because she knows that little secret about him. And it is little. And then she <laughs> And she would use that against that man. Yep. Be it she tell her girlfriend or tell whomever, you know, about the situation. Number one, it's nobody's business. And number two, you that's your man. That's yeah. that's who you chose to be with. So hey, you can't get on my nerves with that though. Like you wanna go and pop boast to the pub. Oh, you got a small in but you yeah. been with yeah. him for years. Yeah. Oh, hey. years. Look, so I got a clip. Years. I got a clip of I've been waiting to pull this out of my arsenal, boy. Look. Look at this shit. So this is a sex scene of a guy, right? And a woman. It's in some movie. I don't know what it is. Is it with that older lady and that young dude? And she's like, know. yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, get up off of me with your... She's like, you're poking me with a pen. Oh, <laughs> wow. Listen. Him hold on, look, look. Hold on, be quiet. Listen, hold on, wait, listen. Hold on. No, no, no. Now, get, get, shit, please. I feel like I'm saying this. It's on the half and half. Get out of my Bitch, you crazy. Thank you. Please exit. Bye bye now. Bye, little slimy thing. 
<laughs> now look, before y'all say something, I, as you know, I talk about this in my book. Yes. And and I talk a little bit about um, brothers who would necessarily perform like this brother, and he tries to tell a woman to listen to me, woman, submit to me, woman. Meanwhile, he has what they call little dick energy. And then so that's something, oh, man. Hey, y'all gotta y'all gotta get the book. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. The proper yeah. way is erectile dysfunction. Whatever. Whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> anyway. So whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> I talk about this. And and if there's any brothers that's out there who 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 suffers from that? We need a commercial right there in right. between. <laughs> For, for Do something. you suffer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah. So, side effects. <laughs> right, right. So, if there is somebody, uh, I definitely talk about that in the book. There's actually solutions for you, brothers. Uh, you most definitely, of course, can get the book. And after you got the book, you can reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's We can have a man to man talk. You know? Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> hey, that happens. It, it, it definitely happens, you know what I'm saying. So I, I counsel brothers. I got a brother. Look. Hey, <laughs> I need to talk to you, bro. Your wife's not brown, are they? Yeah, I can tell. But look though, no, no, seriously though, I have had uh, counsels to where you know brothers, you know, had that issue you know uh older brothers and some younger brothers too you know what i'm saying so on a serious note uh there is solutions for that you know what i'm saying but yeah so dealing with that like what y'all just How heard would you feel king if that was girl well, first off that would be Im- <laughs> impossible but anyway <laughs> uh impossible. i'm just gonna ignore that bullshit oh, i probably would laugh like ah okay right but anyway Dealing with Impossible. that. What's <laughs> up? Like, you get brothers that's going through that. Then, um, and in my opinion, I could be wrong because you know, um, some of these women feel like they can just fight them too. Yeah, that's, that's true. Wrong for that too. Yeah. Yeah. But that I could just fight them. Yeah. Big yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Until he actually put his hands on you, and then. And I feel like he in jail. That right. in jail. Yeah. I've seen it. So what should I take on what y'all just heard? You know what I'm saying? Because we can't just let that ride. <laughs> I told you, hey, look, I like to talk about real shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, real shit. So, um, I guess it, Angela, we'll deal with you first. What's your take on what you just heard? Well, I know the person that, you know, this situation happened to or whatever, what she did. And I basically just told her, number one, you wrong for putting that man's business out like that. Mm-hmm. And then you chose him. Mm-hmm. You chose to be with him because he is her husband. Right. And so, you know, I just basically just let her know that she needs to build him up and find a solution, whatever, you know. Because there is solutions. It is solutions yeah. for that type of um, condition. Yeah. And I was she like, you know. condition? <laughs> I'm I mean, it's I a mean, short-term it, condition. It, it, yeah, that's not short-term. I mean, that's not short-term. No. Like you got to take Viagra, or yeah, yeah, the Cialis for the rest of your life, boo boo. Yeah. yeah. Now we ain't saying that shit on camera. Okay, them niggas ain't paying us. We ain't promoting no <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm editing that shit. So as I was saying, a lot of times uh, the the men have this condition. It is a condition. Um, of erectile dysfunction because of different medications they may take. Yeah. Um, they may have uh, research says that if they've had anything traumatic yeah. to happen yeah, to right. that part Injury. of their body, yeah. injuries, um, anything of that nature, it can cause that condition to come about. Mm-hmm. But there, is, there are definitely solutions um, that we're not gonna go into. Go to your doctor mm-hmm. and uh, or. A book the council with HOJ yeah. and, or reach out to my lord uh, Judah the Shooter and get you some help because it definitely can be uh, corrected. Yeah, yeah. That's true. it can be corrected. Then you get your wife some act right. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully she will act, act right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so get the act right and still don't act right. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. Yes. Um, so, um, which leads me to my next question. 
Why do you think women who have not been in successful poly unions teach against poly? <laughs> 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 can't even say women that haven't been in successful poly but I've seen people that, that tried to get into poly and they did make it and now all of a sudden poly is a sin yeah. but you was just trying to get in her girl bye yeah. <laughs> bye yeah just emotional just yeah. speaking out of emotions and you know feeling because of what happened and just can't get rid of it you know Passover then came and you just still can't even forgive yeah. that person and let it go you That's still home in the game is still going on and on with the malice and the hatred and all those things so that person just emotional and they feelings and just need to do some renewing of the mind because you're not a bible believer and you're not a truly a bible believer and you, you don't fear god so. right but yeah i've seen women they get into poly and the poly wasn't going the way that they thought they thought that the other woman was going to take care of them and do everything for them yeah and they didn't have to pull their own weight and it was like okay i'm out yeah this ain't gonna work and now it's poly's a sin it don't <laughs> yeah. work like that i've seen women that you know again I, i've always said this every day they, they down for poly until it's in their own backyard yeah. yeah and when it becomes in their own backyard then it's a, a totally different story and it's like mm -hmm. yeah no Yep. And usually, too, when <clears throat> people are, you know, in a poly union and the, that woman is going off and, you know, she's talking bad about her husband, and but he's still with the other wife. She's still in order. She's still in, ro in her role doing what she's supposed to be doing. But mm -hmm. now that you're mad and emotional because you left the union, then you want to say that it's an abomination and that we sp don't supposed to be doing these things. And that some people who are in poly, the women who are happy right. and get along, that they're still sinning. That don't make sense. You sound <laughs> retarded and you speaking off of feelings and emotions. And right. we can see that yeah. for saying stupid stuff like that. Right. We right. hear it all. And we see it all. <laughs> okay. What about you, Angela? What do you think? Why do you think? Uh... Well, I have not had uh, an experience with uh, right. you know, those particular people right. or sister wives or whatever. Um, but I will say the first thing that comes to my mind is jealousy. Um, they probably are thinking it didn't work out for me. Well, how is it working out for you? You wow. know, um, and people can easily do comparison. That's yeah. a lot of issues and problems with uh, the sisters, you know, in the truth, sisters in the world. I mean, just women in general. Mm -hmm. um, they're mm -hmm. always comparing themselves to the next person. And you, you know, you have to be, it goes back into the insecurity and. You know, all of those things, you're not sure about who you are, but yet you walk around, I am enough. Right. You right. know, I, I, <laughs> am, I, mean. I am love. Yeah. And all of that. that. And so, you know, you do I'm all, all of yeah. yeah. Love yeah. yourself. Love yeah. on yourself, but you're not keeping the commandments. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do that first, then love yourself. Exactly. But get to know you. And, and if you know you're dealing with some issues and problems, then work those things out. But... Definitely stop comparing yourself. Right. And relationship. Yeah. People compare yeah. this poly union to that poly union. Well, right. they do this and they do that yeah. and they do that. You can't do that. Right. Your husband is ahead and he's going to take control and do what he sees fit for the household. Mm -hmm. right. That's what you listen to. That's what you listen and to. And every, every poly union definitely, definitely, definitely is not ran the same. Yeah. And our, you know, ours, there's no hierarchy. You know, um, uh, I don't actually think I've ever met a family that had a hierarchy. If they did, I, I wasn't aware of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't. Um, that, that I've seen, I've seen like a couple of um, people, different um, poly relationships, like on YouTube when yeah. I was first coming in. Well, I mean, personally, um, that we've yeah, seen. I don't know yeah. anybody personally yeah. that's like this is the first wife and she is gonna control this and. 
just gonna sit back. Now I've seen where the first wife try to control everything, like case the other wife can't do nothing unless yeah, she, we've you know, that. Yeah. I've we seen have that. experienced that. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's it's just a they mind they they can't get right. Right. <laughs> All right, so I got another question. Um, do I'm gonna ask you, Angela? I guess picking on you. <laughs> do women play the victim? If so, why? Absolutely. So, um, okay. It's kind of like reverse psychology. They want to be the weaker vessel. Then right. say so it again. Oh, so wow. So it's like okay. reverse psychology. So it's like they want to be the weaker vessel then because they'll get the attention. Right. Mm. You will go and call the police. They'll most likely will put the man out. Right. Not mm-hmm. you. Um, make him go somewhere else and stay. Right. You know. Um, Right, right. I have. What you said, Judy? <clears throat> he sleep on the couch. Right, right. and so um, I have seen. Uh, I have seen. Well, I had a friend that went to jail, and her husband went to jail. Uh-huh. They both went to jail on domestic. Okay, but yeah, that's women. Like I said, you know, it's like reverse psychology. We, we want to be weak when we want to be weak. Right, right. And then we want to be strong in other instances. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We want to be strong when you know I'm independent woman. I could do this all by myself. Right. All of that type of attitude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then when you down and out, or, or or let's say you met somebody and he had more and you had less, mm-hmm. then you the weaker one. You, yeah. you see what I'm saying? Cause yeah. You, and especially when it's a physical or emotional type of. Uh, Issue where y'all fighting or arguing yeah, or whatever. But see, it, that's the that's another one too, though. I'm sorry. Uh uh-uh, uh no. It's but but the same as like these women of the world or whomever, they'll uh constantly pick at the man. I oh, dare oh. you to do this. Mm-hmm. I dare you to do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do yeah. it. And then he does it, and it's like oh right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the victim to our favor though so a woman can be manipulative and then when he goes and does something vindictive to her then she plays the weaker link like right. oh my right. god you just did this oh my to make him feel bad to make right. him be like babe, oh, babe, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'll never do it again yeah, to make again. you come out a punk in the end yeah, yeah. so yeah. yeah we're gonna manipulate our we're gonna manipulate the situation to get our way in the end. Exactly. I just want to make it go off our way. That all of these we don't things that. that we just mentioned is also a form of being narcissist. Facts. It it's is true. Because that yeah. goes into one of uh, well, a brother's question, which we'll get to later. He has a question on that. That's funny that you said that. Wow. Oh, well, I wait because I was gonna say something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you didn't, then hold that. You know what I'm saying, Judy? You want to expound on that? You know what I'm saying? Do women play the victim? If so, why? Um, uh, I'm gonna say like I said earlier, you know, it's like a woman's world. Yeah. So if she she knows that if she she plays the victim and she does all these things, um, you know, if she'll say that he's abusing her emotionally, uh, <laughs> physically, right. um, all that just so you know because she's gonna they're not gonna see her as anything else but a victim. Right. So. Yeah. Right. That's how, that's why they wear that badge of honor. So what would they do? Like as far as like if they got children, what are some things that we see? They, they, use the kids. Yeah, they use the children as well. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. worse, they pack up and they take their kids, and this man is no longer able to see his children because mm-hmm. they're mad. And, and then they'll let the world they'll show the world that he's a deadbeat dad and right. he don't do nothing yep. right. for the kids. Yeah. But all along, <laughs> yep, he got receipts. Like, bro, I, I I buy stuff and then I. Look, I, I came up with a solution like right. give me my child and then I'll give you visitation. Right. Since I'm a deadbeat, let me take care of my baby. No, nope. but then all along, no, nah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't but then I'm a deadbeat, but I have to see right. my child on your terms. From 
Well, Listen, they, they that co-parenting shit ain't necessarily yeah. co-parenting. Right. No, it's, it's not never co-parenting. Fuck around to do a video on that in the future. No, it's never co-parenting. No, no, don't get me wrong. You do have some co-parenting that actually that were co-parenting, yeah. well. but that that comes from being adults. Yeah, yeah. being Maturity. mature about the, the situation, situation that's yeah. at hand. Yeah. You gotta actually, you gotta get to that level before. Until then, it's just it's, it's just her way or no yeah. way. Yeah. There's a saying uh, that. Uh, some some women are single mothers not because of their be daddies, but because the mother wants to prove a point. Yeah, yeah that's true. You know? Yep. Yeah. I had seen I this see this sign. Um, it was a post on Facebook a while ago. It was like, um, dang, I can't remember what it said, but on the line, something about fighting. Uh, yeah, you should fight. Men should fight harder to see. Or to deal with their yeah, children. Yeah, I seen that one. It was like, like it no. X'd it out and was hold like. Hold on, hold on. Say that again, just because y'all were talking. And I want that to come out. Say that shit. Men Wait. should fight harder to be with their children. And then it was like, well, ask the mom why they have to fight at to all. To begin with. Why you have to fight to begin with? Yeah, I seen that one too. <laughs> yeah. That mess around have to be a video as well. Yeah. Um. Anybody want to chime? You want to chime in on something, babe? No. Love? No. Okay. 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 So, with that being said, before we get to it, because uh, again, y'all, this is a dialogue. Um, this is a. Uh, these are questions that uh, some of you all may know as uh, Elder Maha uh, or Maharaka Banya Howard Banya Shaala. Do name long as hell. Ain't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, of A O I. Shout out to Big Bro. Shalawan he bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jeremiah. Yeah. Please say to Yah, shout out to Jeremiah from uh, Las Vegas as well. Uh, as well he's, uh, he's actually out in Las Vegas right now, Mahal, and uh, he visiting Jeremiah. You know, they're doing their thing out there. But anyway, so um, he has a few questions that he wants to ask. You all, you all ready? Yes. First question. Why is it that when you tell a woman to be quiet, they automatically respond by saying something back? Like they're listening, but I have something to say back. So it's kind of like, woman, be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Then she starts talking. Act like she listen, but she really ain't listening. Then she talk back. Um, I guess we'll go from um, your side on back. Go ahead. Um, because she's just listening to respond. At that point, she's not hearing anything that you say because all she wants to do is argue. Um, most women aren't interested in coming to a resolution at that point. It's just a back and forth. That's it. It won't go anywhere. It's just a back and forth. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I think that it is because they feel like they can prove a point. Right. Mm. You don't have a point. So what are you trying to prove? Just be quiet. Yeah. So I just really honestly think they're trying to get their point across so they want to the E word that is forbidden in this house, explain. Oh, okay, yeah, explain, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? What's your take? Um, <laughs> I would say because she doesn't honor or reverence him. Because if she did, she'd be quiet. Mm -hmm. She'd listen to the things that the orders that the order that he commanded you to do and to be quiet. Mm -hmm. um, he may let you speak, but you won't be quiet. Just be quiet, let him talk, and then maybe you can speak if he allows you. But they don't honor or reverence their husband enough. Because if my husband tells me to be quiet, I'm going to be quiet. Be quiet! <laughs> 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 no, One, because the Bible tells us... Be quiet! I'm just going to go ahead. <laughs> silent. The Bible tells us, tells us to be silent. And us as women, we run our mouth too much. We run our mouth too much. And it, and it could be in a moment where it's not for you to run your mouth. And we'll run our mouth. So, mm -hmm. just be quiet. Be quiet. Your turn. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's really how it should be. This is fun. Right. He being nice. Right. Go ahead. So, everybody had great answers, but at the end of the day, she got to get the last word. Yeah. She don't care what nobody, she don't care what you say. Yeah. You know her daddy, you know her ruler, you don't, you don't own her, you don't take control of her. She gonna say what she gotta say and she gonna get the last word at the yeah. end of the day. She's gonna be doomed. And that's just that. Is that's true. true. That is true. That's, but that's their mindset though. Yeah, they, don't yeah. that's, that's, they don't really fear the most high. No, no and they, they can don't. say that all, the, all day long. Oh, well, 
um, you know, the Lord is my head and how stupid y'all sound when y'all say That's that. That's all I need is the most high. We too busy, women too busy worrying about marriage and husbands and finding men and just worry about the most high. Right. Yeah. But he says keep the commitments. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So I got another question. Uh, well, he has another question. I apologize. He asks, um, and this time we'll go from your side to your side. What type of woman calls her man a bitch ass nigga? A band. That's what we call it. Shout out to Judah Mack. <laughs> Masha Rocky. <laughs> Your wife's the man ass nigga. <laughs> that song go hard. Look up his song, y'all, called Band. Acronym for bitch ass nigga. So, um, the type of woman that calls her man a band is a headstrong woman, is a shameless bitch. Yes. That's what she is. <laughs> yes. She's a headstrong woman, and the Bible refers to her as a shameless bitch. Yes. Read that. At the end of the quick. day. Read that Period. real quick. <laughs> Ecclesiasticus. Shout out to 25. Um, and this is from, uh, show them the, the Bible, Oxford Study Bible, with the Apocrypha. Yeah, bring it closer. I can't go closer. That's all good. They can screenshot that. Yeah. yeah. All right, come on with it. All right. And if they got the Bible, uh, what page is it on? Is it 1144? 1145. 1145, yeah. Yep. Well, it start on 44, but yeah. Yes. Go ahead. All right, so it's the Rock 25, verse 25. Mm -hmm. Um says, a headstrong woman is a shameless bitch. Say it again. A headstrong, headstrong woman, woman is a shameless bitch. Yeah, I remember that. If y'all been watching the videos. I know. <laughs> I was just going off her. Like a hair song woman is a shameless bitch. Sh shameless bitch. Sh shameless bitch. Oh, I remember. Oh, uh, yeah, I was doing a dance behind camera. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, but go ahead, though. Did you want to. Was you but yeah, Go ahead. Uh, so, yeah, that, uh, that's a woman that really doesn't honor, reverence, respect, respect, and can give two F's about this man because. There's no way in the hell that you even disrespect that man like that. Facts. If you if you reverence him, if you cared for him, if you honored him. All right, Judy. Um, what, what type of woman calls her uh, husband a shameless? I mean, I said a shameless uh, bitch, <laughs> a bitch ass I mean, nigga. A wicked woman. Mm -hmm. Um, she's not a daughter of Zion. She's not a daughter of light. She's not a whatever you want to say you are. She's not. She's wicked. Um, because a daughter of Zion wouldn't do those things. She will respect, uplift, honor him. Um, she would call him a king. She would do anything to uplift him, but not to call him, to degrade him like that. Right. Um, you don't love him at all because, I mean, if he is, you are as well. Mm. Because you're a reflection of him. So represent him. You represent him. That's what you represent. Damn, bitch. Wow. <laughs> wow. We really yeah. want to go there. So. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. All right. Well, Angela, uh, your turn. What type of woman calls a husband a bitch ass nigga? I'm just going to add to what my sister's already Come said. Come on with it. Um, a woman that would do that is probably a woman that's damaged goods. Damn. Um, she probably has been ran over, ran through, like, <laughs> right, ran over, <laughs> ran through, and little. ran up on, Man. whatever. But she, she is Both damaged up. goods. Both Both yeah, up. she's damaged goods. Um, because I really, honestly, um, yeah, she's damaged goods. She probably is so broken and so hurt. <laughs> That she probably don't know how to reverence, don't know how to honor, right. you know. Um, but since you need to turn over a new leaf yeah. and learn how, learn how to do it and do it. That's right, that's why, bitch. I like mean, sis. Sister, <laughs> like my sister said, you know, it's do or die. Either you do it or you die. So, but yeah, just a woman that's damaged goods. That's what I'm gonna say. All right. Um, I'm gonna say that a woman that'll do or that'll call their husband that is a demon, it's the devil. Um, at that point, you, you lower the spit, spit, like you that's the same as spitting in his face. 
It's like one of the most disrespectful things that you can do to somebody. Um, yes. It's disgusting. You're disgusted. Yeah. So, I mean, there's no worse than that to me. All right, next question. Um, <laughs> why women feel that they can talk, I guess you want to say talk back, especially when it's a serious matter, in rebuking correction? Well, like my sister said earlier, mm -hmm. um, because she wants to explain her point, she wants to get her point across and prove a point to him. But at that ma matter, at that moment, it doesn't matter. It's just be quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what I'm going to say is power. Okay. So she she wants the power if she feels like she don't have it, or she feels like she has it if she wants to display her so-called power. Okay. Over the situation. Anybody y'all want to chime in on that? Yeah, agree or chime in anything? I would say that again, she wants the last word. She wants to be heard, even if it's a, a, a body because body language speaks loud too. Even if she verbally doesn't say anything, her body language would say it all. Her <sighs> right rolling of the eyes, sucking the teeth. You know what I'm saying? Even if she verbally is not saying anything, she's still getting the last word in by her gestures. Her body language, her sounds, her you know those type of things. So it's just to be her and to to let him know you have no authority over me. You have no no power over me. I'm gonna say what I want to say. I'm gonna get the last word. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's just as wicked as you know you verbally calling a, I'm a band or you know you. Well, I I believe. Well, I I I I. No, you you, you need to shut up. Yeah. But uh, they don't think of it, and then when a a woman is actually enraged and in, um, she's angry and enraged, everything goes out the window. It like does. every, all the, the submission, obedience, reverencing, honor, all of that goes out the window and all she sees is red. She sees anger and she's going to express that anger. Okay. You want to say something on that? <clears throat> um, they, you know, practically said everything, but I'm just going to say like she doesn't respect him. Um, because if they're having uh, a conversation and he's correcting you or rebuking you, you know, you should just take that rebuke, take that love and correction and just be silent, you know, instead of just continuing to, you know, voice your opinion and, you know, no, nah, you, you've seen it wrong. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. Be quiet. Again, mm -hmm. he may give you the room to speak, mm -hmm. but just in that moment, just be, be silent. Just shut the fuck up. That makes the situation <laughs> more... Uh, it makes him more aggravated, mm -hmm. and it just make, it just prolongs the situation when y'all could have just all you could have been. Thank you, King. Right. I needed that because you're. I'm pretty sure your your sisters that you were around aren't correcting you. So just take that correction from your husband because right. that is love. Yeah. yeah. Like that is. Imagine though, like if in the Bible when the, when Christ was chastising all of the churches, mm -hmm. and it was like, hold on, wait a minute, we got something right. to say back. Let's write. I was keeping the back. Same. Let them know how right. he felt. What you thought? <laughs> Facts. 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 All right. Was that in on that? Yeah. That was okay. So next question. Um, I start with you first, Judy. Why do sisters hate polygyny, but say they don't, and blame you because they feel you ain't doing something right? Um, because they hate the Bible. Hmm. I mean, it's in there. Um, you're just too jealous, too, in your feelings and your emotions to, you know, you all you see is negative. So that's all you're going to say. Are you, that's all you're going to think of your husband as is negative. Um, all these negative things. He can't do poly right. He ain't got no job. Um, mm -hmm. We, you know. Do something for her. You can't even do for me. Exactly. We the house that we're in, like we gotta have two separate houses. He can't pay for two houses. All these things. So they'll try to do everything they can to to, to destroy it and manipulate it. Yeah. Definitely. So that's exactly one reason why we doing all these videos and on my channel. You know, I'm doing all these different. Uh, I'm doing all these different videos on reasons why wicked sisters say you can't do it, or wicked brothers say that you can't do it. Getting rid of all these excuses and offering solutions. Yeah. That's what's up, baby. Okay. They don't um, truly have love, for real, yeah. for real, because we know again that love is keeping the commandments. So if the Most High puts you in that situation to, you know, be in a poly union, just try it out. 
that could be a test for you. That's you know, true. to see how you how how it can be for you. Like, are you really gonna go all out? Are you all are you gonna really be selfless and you know get to know this sister and just break all those barriers because this is something of course new. Like we've all been, you know, where it was like, hey, it was just me and a guy mm -hmm. before. You know, we're not mm -hmm. used to this. Yeah. So just try it and see what happens. Like just yeah, because on uh, on the back end, it may not even work between him and the other person. Exactly. We should, we've all seen it. Yeah, but yeah. you've got a, a uh, what the Most High them gave you a strike just for that, mm -hmm. just for being submissive still, just from honoring and loving and loving that sister and just trying. Right. He didn't gave you a strike for the kingdom just for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Michael. Can I get the question again? Yeah. Um. <laughs> It says, um, why do bitch, I mean, sisters hate Polly, but say they don't <laughs> and blame you because they feel you ain't doing something right? I'm sorry, Dan. I was, I was low-key hoping he would come to me first <laughs> so I could use it, right? Yeah. Because <clears throat> I knew you was going to say it. <laughs> you hear me? And the hypocrites. Right. Um, like my sis, Josiah says all the time. People are for Polly until it's in their backyard. Mm -hmm. A lot of women like how Polly looks and they assume how it'll be or how it can be and that looks real good until it's actually there. And they you start doing to, comparisons like yeah. well, well well he let his wives do this or her husband do that right. or got this or say this or do that. Or where it is. Yeah, so it's like they put their marriage uh, dream in, in their mind from seeing someone else and they lust and desire that and try to bring those same principles into the home of the husband. And that not necessarily saying it's a good or a bad thing, but if the husband ain't doing anything with that, that's just his household. Right. I literally just <laughs> took your shine. It's all good. Damn. You finish it out, go ahead, Jen. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Hit him with the two P's. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get the question? <laughs> yeah. Why do uh bitches I mean <laughs> Why do sisters hate Polly with no polygyny but say they don't? And blame you because they feel you ain't doing something right. So blame the man because yeah, they feel like yeah, he's doing oh, okay. okay. I've had sisters to come behind their husbands back and ask because yeah. they see our union. What if your wives did X, Y, and Z? How would you feel about that? I've had sisters. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Like, what, what, what the fuck is you asking me this for? I've had sisters approach me. I had a sister approach me. It was like, well. Oh, yeah. Who's oh, at that yeah. event? Yeah. Like, I, I remember. Just back there chilling, listening to the music. And I wonder why they always go for you. I don't, and I looked the they meanest always, like that. Yeah, I wonder why they why always go to you. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll be chilling. waiting for somebody to come ask me a question like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never come to you. be like a house party three. I was expecting some <laughs> shit like this. <laughs> I mean, you it never happens. They walk <laughs> right past me every time. <laughs> like, nope, she's not the one. Yeah. We're going for her. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I've had this, but it is, it's, it's because everybody has this dream, this fantasy that Polly is going to be ran um, this way or that way. and Or I've heard, you know, women want to come in and change the dynamic of, of the union. Yep. Yeah. Well, you don't run nothing over here, B. So I've had, I've had a sister that um, she was in one poly union and they took care of her and did everything for her and then came into another poly union and expected the same thing. And when she see it wasn't going that way, that she had to pull her weight, she bounced. You know, so I've, I've seen that. I've seen, I've, I've had a, you know, sister come to me. It was like, she wanted to make sure that her husband was doing poly for the right reasons. Yeah. Well, yeah. his reasons is the right reason. Right. Whatever he want to do it for. Well, yeah, I had, I had a sister approach me. Yeah. And uh, uh, she ran off when King came over there. She she was like, no, nah, I want to talk to you by yourself. Yeah, she was yeah. like, I want to talk to you by yourself. Like, well, no. My husband don't go, you know, no. I thought she was just like, she, she seen us together. She's like, I seen that, you know, you, you and your sister, y'all look so, so pretty and so beautiful together, you know. I was like, oh, okay. King thought she wanted to try to come into the house. And I'm like, 
She just came over and there, you know, was out of the poly union. I was like, well, I'm yeah. she's trying to be a wife or something? What's no, going well, on? I don't know. She just came <laughs> approach me. I was sitting here chilling. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but but to answer that question, it is it's just because a lot of sisters, they, they have this fantasy about it. And thinking um, they're going to come in. Some think they're going to come in to replace the first wife. Mm-hmm. They think they're going to come in to try to make the, the, the dynamics better. Well, our dynamics are successful right now. You're not going to make it better nor worse. It, right. Actually, it ain't broke, don't I, fix it. I take that back. You can make it worse. Right. You come in with your weakness. For, yeah, and for themselves. Yeah, yeah. You, you can yeah. come in and just exactly. disrupt what we have going on. That's and make true. it makes it worse for our, for our family. Mm-hmm. And then when you're gone, it's going to go back smooth sailing again so I've I've witnessed that before but it's just because these women have this fantasy and when they fantasy when they get in it and their fantasy is like not a reality it's like yeah no that's why I say um that some people they're not for poly they're just in love with the idea of poly you know what I'm saying they they, they're so cute they're so happy on their pictures yeah you know it's like you like what it looked like, but you're not ready for the lifestyle and the yeah. culture that comes with it. Yeah. Because it's a lifestyle. So we're a life. It's not It's not a phase. Right. You know what I'm saying? That go for men and women. If you're looking to do poly just for a phase, this is not going to work. It's a lifestyle. It's, just for, it's a for everything. Not, well, you know, it didn't work out. We had a little argument and, you know, we, <laughs> we just decided to just go on. No, it, that's not how it works. They don't want to endure. Yeah. Like... Monogamy is cool. Don't get me wrong. Poly is actually hard work. Yep. You got to put in your you have to put in your share of work. You cannot just leave everything up to your sister wife to do. Like oh, it's, it's smooth sailing for me. I don't, I don't really have to do nothing because she gonna pick up this. No, you have to do. You have to pull your way too because at the end of the day, he's polygynous, not you. Right. right. So to say, oh, I'm polygynous. No, you're not. No, you're, uh, husband you're not. But um, Angela. Um, the question again. Why do um. Uh, why do sisters hate Polly, but say that they don't, and then blame you when they feel you ain't doing something right? Um, lack of education. Okay. I'm always up to that. They just lack the education, like you said. Um, Polly is work. Right. You just can't uh, be. You know, you gonna have these three wives and yourself, and then as soon as something don't go right, you know, you, you out. Yeah. You know, so. Um, yeah, just, you know, get educated about it before you go into it. You yeah. know, find out if it's, weigh your pros and cons and, you know, see if, if you're built to do it. Right. You right. know, because like my sisters have said, um, it, it's not for everybody. Yeah. You know, marriage itself, monogamously, is not for everybody. Right. So, you know, get you together and, you know, educate yourself before you you know get involved with that Mm -hmm. yeah just find out what it is and you know take notes and go from there okay now this next question i don't think we really have to ask because we kind of talked about the victim Mm -hmm. um well why does it seem like women never take ownership but always passing the buck and telling men he is being uh, a victim when they themselves are the ones victimizing the man. You know what I'm saying? I think we kind of covered yeah, that. Yeah, we did. Right. We covered that one. Yeah, so we really don't have to uh, go into that. But, Amar, of course, if you're watching it, uh, you've watched the video and you felt like they should go into it more further or they answered it, just let us know. You know what I'm saying? And we can kind of touch bases on it on another video, on a later video. But, in my opinion, I think y'all tackled that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, question. Now, this is one of the ones well, I was pretty much going to ask. So, me and my heart's on the same page with this one. Uh, why men always have to be a narcissist? In other words, why it always got to be the man? You know, why Why I can't be the woman? You know what I'm saying? So, a uh, women, uh, narcissists, can they be uh, showing displays of narcissistic behavior? I'll start with Miss Professional over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If y'all been watching our videos... <laughs> You know why I chose Angela first. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know why, then you ain't been paying attention enough. So, Angela, um, can women be narcissists? You know, why does it always got to be the man? Like, anywhere how you want to come at this, you know, whatever comes to mind. Uh, 
women absolutely can be narcissists. Um, I find I have found that women are more narcissistic than men. Yeah. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is I've fallen in love with some. That's yeah. something I'll talk about in the book later, but go ahead. Wow. Yeah. So, but, yeah, women are more narcissistic than men. Um, the reason why they want to say that men are narcissists is because it's like a trend. Yeah. It's, it's trending, you know, mm. uh, as if we... Uh, as women don't do me wrong yeah so it's that what was me concept yeah you know um it's all you know girl he did such and such to you and you know you, you know he hurt your heart he hurt your feelings like we're not hurting his feelings right. we're not breaking his heart right so that's you know that's why they're saying that and labeling it like that mm. it's trending that way right. you know well girl you know go say some affirmations and get your life together right. you know he missing out no you missing out right in all actuality so have you come across like in your lifetime women that you knew that was narcissistic absolutely yeah yeah i've cut them off since i've been in the house okay. <laughs> yeah okay, okay. absolutely very narcissistic very controlling um why you say that i say that because most narcissistic women are narcissistic in every relationship uh romantic or friendships you know just every even with their family yeah. And I find that women like that are very aggressive yeah. in the worst way, mm -hmm. um, disrespectful, you know, have no sense of, you know, being humble. Yeah. They kind of like a man, yeah. like a he, she. Your wife's the man ass nigga. Right, right, you right, say, you right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they and they <laughs> take on the characteristics of a man. Okay. You know, no softness to him, no quiet voice, definitely not being quiet. Yeah. Very loud. Oh, that's one thing I don't like any woman that displays like masculinity. Mm -hmm. yeah. She talk masculine, and I don't like that. Hey. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. So I guess um I guess the reason why I'm digging into you with this is because of your experience, your profession, and you know the thing that you were doing with the uh, with the group. You know what I'm saying that you had going. You yeah. around women, a yes. different background. So like, yeah. kind of give some examples on what you've witnessed <laughs> on that. Um, give us some I real shit. <laughs> give us some real shit. I mean, well, I have. I was friends with someone, uh -huh. and, and she was very narcissistic, mm -hmm. and I I recognized that while I was courting you. Okay. I recognized how she was, but mm. I wanted to be, you know, I had been her friend for years mm. and I wanted her to enjoy what I was about to embark upon. Right. I wanted her to, you know, get to know you, all of that stuff, right? right? But when I realized every time, <laughs> you know, I let her in my space, there was some sense of disrespect or, yeah. you know, just being rude and, yeah. you know, almost nasty to some sense. Yeah. Then I, I had to just tell myself, man, like, what's up? So I looked up under the characteristics of a narcissistic mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. or a narcissist, mm -hmm. which is like gaslighting, you know, people making you feel like it's your fault mm -hmm. when you obviously know it's something that they did right. you know inadvertently or whatever and so when i started looking at that i was like oh wow yeah. you know this is what because it was even a level of her um make trying to make me feel like i was low because of what i was choosing to do what was you choosing yeah. to do to get into a poly union right you know what I'm i just saying? want you to say it yeah. so yeah so i had i recognized that and i was like oh wow so you know, you act like you was down with mm -hmm. it. Now I'm picking up on the little sarcasm, the little jokes and mm -hmm. things talk like about that. This in my book. And that's what narcissists do. You yeah. know, they try to make you feel bad, make you feel low, you know, mm -hmm. and all that. Then they want to tell you, oh, Bill, your, your, you got low self-esteem. Yeah. No, I don't. Right. I'm a strong Israelite woman. Yeah, and, and yeah. it's like that when if a man put his foot down, if he correct her and don't turn his... I taught her foolishness, right. then he's the narcissist, and mm -hmm. he's the yeah. bad guy. Right. Because you are calling me out on my bullshit. 
So yeah. therefore, you are the one that's talking. How dare you tell me not to dress like this? That's how true. dare you tell me how I should be talking or how I should carry myself? How dare you tell me what I can and can't do? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, that was good. So yeah. so in short, you're saying, and, and and another reason why I picked you first is because you and my husband are the same generation. Y'all the same age group. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to throw that because he's old. No. <laughs> oh, man, I had to get you. But anyway, um, but, <laughs> oh, man, I love my baby. So, all right, so you're saying that women are more narcissistic than men. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I'll go with Desire next. Going, going, uh, going on down. Come on. Josiah, same thing, oh. you know. Why does the man has to be narcissist? Why can't be the woman, you know? Is a woman narcissist? Let's we'll start with that. A woman narcissist? That's a hard act to follow, you know. If you uh, kind of yeah, said she everything. Hit it with the professionalism. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you said anything. <laughs> <laughs> <Definitely. laughs> <It's> Angela. Nothing. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so, what's 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 your take on it? Yeah. They are. They are? Yes. Okay. You want to give an example? Mm -hmm. Anybody you've seen in your lifespan growing up? No, I want to call her out. No, thank you. <laughs> no, nah, call her out. No, I'm good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know you're talking about. <laughs> well, go ahead and give an example. Of somebody. <laughs> Cause she knows I'm so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not the one bitch very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, <laughs> it's getting hot. It is. It's getting hot up in here, boy. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Well, what would you say? So, uh, yeah, I know a woman, she's very narcissistic. <laughs> she ran every relationship. She was the man in every relationship. What she said goes. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're going to uh, leave that one alone. Yeah, okay. We're probably going to have to do a, like a video or something in the future. Yeah. Okay, uh, Judy. <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah, women definitely can be narcissists. Um, and yeah, speak up a little bit. I said they can be narcissists, mm -hmm. and um, I've encountered a few of my lifetime. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, it's my turn. Now. It is your turn. All right. <clears throat> so, following behind my sister. Yes, women can be um, narcissists. I feel that um, there are a lot more narcissistic women than there are men. Um, Speak up. The um, I feel like there's more more women that are narcissists than there are men. Um, it's sad now because it seems like almost a, women fall into being narcissistic trying to manipulate situations Damn. um and they don't even realize that they're being narciss narcissistic it's it's like they can't even tell because most most of us are um accustomed to believing that the men men are narcissists you know, mm -hmm. that's like it's like a whole Me Too movement. Right. If men are the narcissists. Like women don't do anything. Like I personally feel like going back to the Bible, Jezebel, she was a narcissist, and a lot of these women out here has that Jezebel spirit on them, and they're doing the exact same thing. Um, have no empathy for other people. Um, they feel like other people are less than what they are they always trying to manipulate a situation um for sure i know a lot of narcissists and if we were going back to the movie um that we were talking about 
She was a narcissist. She definitely yeah, was. she was. She definitely was. So explain. Well, I mean, she had all of the characteristics. She went through the entire movie making it seem like she was a victim. Yeah. Um, that she made no wrong. She had no um, no type of empathy for the people that she hurt in her destruction. The path that she was going down, she, she no remorse. She hurt herself. Trying to hurt somebody else. Like, she had no type of of um, saving herself in, yeah. in it, she was just everybody's gonna go down. I'm gonna go down too, and but everybody else come down with. Me. Yeah, she was a narcissist. So, yeah, that is that's definitely true. Uh, in, in her shoes, she not only a narcissist, she had borderline personality disorder. Facts. Yeah, she, had, she, she, she had definitely had borderline, borderline personality, personality disorder. disorder. Okay, explain. She. She had um, she she had a deception from reality. Yeah. She she didn't know what was real and what was not. What was real in her mind was actually not reality. Right. It was not what was going on per the movie. And she believed it. Yeah, she believed that this was going on. She believed that even though she divorced this man, she divorced him. She didn't. He didn't divorce her. Right. And he tried to, you know, even when he made it big, you know. Uh, Due to the help of another woman that he didn't have no remo no romantic involvement with while he was married to her, but when they got divorced, this woman was there for him. This woman helped him actually get on. This woman right. helped him move forward in life. The same yeah. one, the that same she one, allegedly called. She, him, she yeah, she did with, and yeah. but that woman took him out of a shelter and and, and you know gave him. And, and went to bat for him, and that's how he made it big. And then, even at that point, he still went to this one, went to her, and gave her ten million dollars, and then gave her her mom's house back. Right. So her reality was like, oh well, he he do love me. So he go, she goes to the house, but now he has another woman already. He's he's, right. he's engaged to somebody after, else. After but now at this hit, point, she didn't say no. A at, one time. Yeah, at, at this point now, her reality is messed up because oh. He cheating with this woman, and this woman is living in my house. But y'all not married, boo. Right. Y'all been divorced. Y'all divorced. So her reality is, it's gone. Her reality and what's her reality and the actual reality did match up. Yeah, but they say that all the time. They like when you going through a story, you know, it's her side, it's his side, and, and it's, it's the, the truth. truth. Yeah. Right. So I mean, a lot of, I guess we don't really pay attention to. Um, you know how we store our memories because sometimes the way we store our memories isn't exactly how it happened it's just Ooh, based wait. off of our feelings and emotions and emotion, emotions at that time yeah. so she was thinking like she really did these things and she did some of it but not the way she was saying it yeah mm -hmm. yeah hey that, that, that that's some heavy stuff that, that that that's that's definitely heavy that really is, you know. And hopefully, you sisters is listening and, and taking notes, you know. But um, I like how you can put that, you know. Sometimes how it plays out in the head is not actually how it happened, you know. I remember, um, remember I did that video of me talking about my shortcomings and faults and things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, one everything got better after that. For the most part, you know what I'm saying, and y'all yeah, remember I was telling y'all, you know, I want to be a better husband to you all and things like that. You all remember, mm -hmm. and I talked about my shortcomings, and but during that time, I was contacting brothers, contacting sisters, and yeah, and contacting people who I was involved with. You know what I'm saying, and there were certain people, won't say no names, but. I was apologizing to them even if I did nothing wrong. Even if I did just in case. I might have said, you know what? Uh, I don't like people with orange jackets. <laughs> with yellow head wraps. You know, and didn't mean no harm in saying went to you. But you might have could have took offense to it. So I was apologizing just, just in case. Right. You know. But the deep thing about it is. A few people who I did that to. One didn't accept the apology. It really wasn't even for them. But 
I did nothing wrong. But I did just in case. And that was a case of narcissistic fucking behavior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got shit played out in your mind as if you did nothing. Yo, that's some heavy shit that y'all, all y'all said. Um, anybody want to chime in on that? Okay, so last question he asked. Uh, he's put in the form of an example. He says, um, I guess he's saying that they'll say, I'm not jealous, but say, basically you treat your otherwise different. And then she's mad. So in other words, he's saying, you get women that say that they're not jealous, but then... I guess she feel like she's not being treated the same way as the other one or, you know what I'm saying? Or, or she's not being treated the same way or what am I trying to say? Uh, it's, it's like you're not treating me fairly. It's, we're, we're being treated totally different ways and I'm not jealous of that, but why you got to treat her? Why she get more time or why she get better this or better that and I'm not getting the same thing? Yeah. So... so Go ahead. Oh, that's very easy. <laughs> She's insecure, first of all. All insecurities... Now, jealousy can strive from insecurity. Mm -hmm. You can definitely be insecure about something, and then jealousy is going to boil up in your boil up in you mm -hmm. and come out. But at the end of the day, I would definitely tell that sister or tell, you know, whoever is, is watching, uh, no two relationships are the same. Right. I don't have the same relationship she got. I don't have the same relationship she got. And I so don't have the same relationship she got. I really, me and my husband's relationship is our relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't treat my kids the same. I don't even treat my sisters the same. My blood sisters nor my sisters. We all have different relationships. It's never going to be the same. Just like the Most High did with, with us. With Israel and with the Gentiles. We, he didn't treat us the same. He didn't even treat the... the, the he grouped us. Because we were all sinning. <laughs> but he treated us differently. The Levites had certain things that, that the Jews couldn't do. So we're never going to be treated the same. You got to you gotta take your mind off of that. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it comes from insecurities. There's no way I'm going to say, Oh, well, he he hugged Judith two seconds longer than he would have did me. Why he do that? I can't. Or... <laughs> <laughs> or why do I see him every night at 10 o'clock come out of Angie's room? Right. Uh, I, you got too much time on your hand if you're doing it. Right. I'm just going to be honest. You, right. you got too much time on your hand if you grew up noticing stuff like that. Grow up. Right. Grow up. Because, I, I mean, think about it. Even if you was not in poly, even if, just take poly off the table right quick. You even did monogamy. And I'm pretty sure your ex may have said, oh, well... I Jessica mean, did this. I we I remember I took her out to, to this movie and we we saw this. Well, you never took me to. Come on, you your net relationship is never gonna be the same. No matter if you're in poly or monogamy. Look, sad thing is with that example, if you would have been like, yeah, I did take you to the same place. Oh, so you do all your girls this way? Yeah, right. <laughs> never satisfied. Right. Never Grow satisfied. up. Grow up. That's fun. All right, Judy. What about Val? Um. Um, let me go back. Uh, it is, uh, he's basically saying, um, women saying that they're not jealous, but you know, they focusing on how he's treating other wife different. And she mess around and get mad, but she's not jealous. Uh -huh. Um, she basically should just stay in her own lane and just worry about herself and the right repeat that. To stay in her own lane mm -hmm. and to worry about her own self, mm -hmm. uh, worry about her and her husband's relationship, uh, worry about teaching your sister and doing all those things that she's supposed to be doing. So worry about that. Um, repent from being jealous um, because jealousy is a sin according to the Bible. So rebuke those sinful thoughts and jealousy and just stay in your lane and, and stay in the fruits of the spirit still at the end of the day. Still have that love and joy and bring peace among the situation and not uh, contrary to it. All right. Angela? Um, stop comparing. Mm. So you are definitely comparing yourself to your sister. And you have to remember that we all bring something different to the table. Um, uh, yeah, stop comparing yourself. 
because you know what your sister may have in her marriage it may not be the same thing you have in yours would you say they, oh, I'm sorry go ahead because they are two separate marriages so yes you're married to the same man but your marriage is individual from hers yeah. so mm -hmm. you can't compare and then I think about the word coveting like mm -hmm. you, you're wanting something that somebody else has mm -hmm. You know, so you want to be careful with those things because, you know, you're getting that dangerous ground with that. Would you say she's moving wicked or righteously? Moving wicked. Okay. All y'all agree with that? Yes. So, brothers who are going through this, let this let this be a lesson, you know. And, uh, Maha, hopefully that we answered your questions, um, you know what I'm saying, and you just let me know. If you want them to kind of, you know, touch bases on anything, um, Besides that, um, so would you? So I guess I ask all you all as a group: Do you all agree that women are more narcissistic than men? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Um. Well, it look like. Um. Wait. I'm thinking we should do a part two to this. What y'all think? I agree. <laughs> what you say? Unity. Unity. Yeah, we're going to do a part two to this because it's getting long. And, um, yeah, we're definitely going to do a part two to this. And um, if anybody, um, well, probably by the time we do part two, part two will probably be done before I even upload part one. So it looks like y'all going to be screwed. So um, I guess before we get up out of here, you know, we got the book. Pro Poly Book dot com is the website and the name of the book is called the unwritten rules of polygyny if you don't have a book whether you're my friend whether you are a stranger you will be removed Delete. <laughs> well i know you're not even if we grew up in the sandbox it's nothing personal all right it's just business <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much done with this social media stuff. It just <laughs> It's just gonna be business. You know what I'm saying? So um did anybody wanna give like a closing anything like that, uh words before we get up out of here for this part one? Anybody? Um Don't become the woman on acrimony. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Don't become that woman. Um strive every day to be that righteous woman that righteous wife um don't be that wicked woman stop surrounding yourself with wicked friends mm. if they're not giving you uh wise, okay. wise yeah. counsel um don't take their counsel hit us up yeah. you know hit up the house of judah um because we our goal is to save marriages we're, we're not for divorce we're not for women leaving their husbands Mm -hmm. um, taking the children and doing all those things so just strive and just like definitely check out our channel and definitely just watch uh, our videos you know because we are trying to save your soul we're trying to gain um, souls for the kingdom that's right so just try to really just be that righteous wife because if not you're gonna be by yourself and heading to lake fire right get okay. a thousand cats <laughs> <laughs> Doing bad by herself. Right. Looking at yep. <laughs> Just let this movie um, show you that if you're not willing to let things go and move forward and build your relationship, you know, ultimately you headed for destruction. Destruction. Like, there's no coming back after a certain point. So, yeah, I, I totally agree. Don't let this. Don't let that movie be your. Don't emulate it. Why? Um, don't let that be your guidance to what you think a, a wife is or what. Uh, He'll have no. What is theory like, like a woman scorned? Scorn. We don't mm -hmm. want to be mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you definitely don't yeah. want to be that. You don't want to be the woman that does for her husband, but and and regret it at the same time. Right. Don't don't mm -hmm. do that. You really will be a Ciroc Twenty Five woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, go ahead. What you saying, Jazza? Uh, you definitely want. You'll definitely be a Ciroc Twenty Five sister uh, woman at that at that point. And we, we again, I we you know we said it in in previous videos. Women, we need to step up. 
we need to we honestly need to to turn the mirror on ourselves and look at ourselves yeah. we're trying to say yeah. well the men don't well you're not a man right. okay right. and That's it's not my job man. to re rebuke them okay it's my job to rebuke you right. it's my job to save you it's my job to give you the tools and the knowledge and it's your job your job to apply it right. to your life i can't apply it for you i can want it for you all day long but it's up to you to apply it to your life and be, to become a better cre a, a new creature it's time to, to have the old self die and be buried and the new self to be born should she so if a, if a brother is pursuing a second wife a third wife a fourth wife a fifth wife a sixth wife or a seventh wife or eighth and so forth should what and she's jealous like what what do you what do you think that should be done in a situation like that you know what I'm saying he's pursuing his next potential wife should she be jealous should the like meaning like um all right, let's just, sister be jealous i'll just use us for if i'm pursuing my fifth wife right now okay. mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying would you be jealous no would you be in your feelings no would i have to get your permission no would you be in my business no you know what i'm saying <laughs> so that's uh, i figured you that's the best way to get it uh, fucking <laughs> okay. understand that shit. you know what i'm saying um um yeah, so we definitely going to um, do a, a part two. Y'all want to give a challenge to any, any of these sisters that might be watching it? Because I'm sure some sister that's out there probably done became a runaway wife. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? We done did a video on that. Or Mary. Yeah, or Mary. You know what I'm saying? Just getting pregnant out the blue. Video coming soon. Yeah, that's going to be a <laughs> video coming soon. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just getting pregnant, you know what I'm saying? No <laughs> husband. Over and over. But you ain't doing nothing. You out here taking this life. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So, you, you being celibate yeah. like somebody done bought a bit. Most high. <laughs> yeah. You know what I said? So yeah. She's being celibate like somebody bought a bit. Yeah, she's right. selling, uh, <laughs> she was selling a bit and then somebody bought that bit. Right, selling bullshit. Yeah. But anyway, so, but there is a sister that's probably out here, you know what I'm saying? She probably done separate got separated from a husband or he probably doesn't say look take your ass over there you wicked or she probably i'm gone you know what i'm saying no like you said we don't we don't push the separate from your husband you know what i'm saying and and run away wise definitely check that video out that they did on the channel it's called raw runaway wise but if you can tell that sister something you know what i'm saying um what would you tell her um uh, I'll go with you, Angela. You can tell that sister something. She just ran away from her <laughs> husband, knowing knowing that she's hedgeless. Anything. Um, I would definitely tell you to endure, um, stay strong, seek wise counsel mm. uh, from someone who is making it work, making their marriage work, um, and that you look up to and that has wisdom to give you. I'm glad you said that because a lot of people take poly counsel from people. people that's not poly. Yeah, people that's what well, well, poly, but they're not even a poly union. They're not even mm -hmm. successful with it. Mm -hmm. Some of them may not even failed and they became successful to teach you what not to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like a lot of the poly counselors are people who don't even live the lifestyle and culture every day like we do on a day to day basis. They got all the answers. Yeah. Wow. All the answers. You know what I'm saying? But if you can give a challenge to them sisters, what would you challenge? Even or like, well, if you can challenge the women who's not going through this, you know what I'm saying? What would what challenge would you give to them? So like, if a husband say, "Well, baby, do you feel this fit you?" No, I don't. All right. Well, you know somebody who it might fit. You know what I'm saying? Or you might know somebody who it might fit. Mm -hmm. What would you challenge them to do? Be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, take the makeup off and the mask. And be honest with yourself. You know how you are. You know what you are capable of doing. Like the lady in Acrimony said. Right. You know you know me. You know I can be the devil. Right. Well, you know you can be the devil. Right. So just recognize those things within yourself and correct them. Right. We also going to challenge um, those sisters to send this video to sisters who may need to hear this. Um, who has went through this or have felt these ways um, so oh, it's going through this. Right, right. To, so you can change your behavior and do better um, our Lord say it best you know yeah you've been doing these things but you can make it right yeah. you can do something different 
just repent. Yeah, submission is easy when it's what? Easy. When it's easy. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? So definitely uh brothers and sisters, send this to some sisters. Like even sisters who probably don't went through bad monogamous unions and bad poly unions, send it to them. You know what I'm saying? Just because it didn't work out in your situation don't mean all of a sudden it's wrong and it's bad now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it was fucked up for you. Shit didn't work out the way you wanted it to work out. Or and you know you you probably could have been the right to win in a situation. You know what I'm saying? But it don't mean it can't work. You know what I'm saying? So everybody trying to trying to get this the best way they can, at least they should. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of what we talked about is even in the book, the unwritten rules of polygyny. Once again, you get it from propolybook.com. This is part one. Hopefully, you all got something from this. Uh, definitely get the merchandise. You see the jackets that, you know, everybody's shining in. You can definitely get the jackets and the shoes to go with with the jackets and the shirts as well. You saw it. But, um, yeah, so um, we're going to go ahead and end it. Yeah, we got the cups, too. I see, I see us now. You know, we got them cups over here in this deal, propolybook.com. You know, that's the exclusive one. That one ain't coming out yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, look, we're going to go ahead and get up out of here. So with that being said, um, uh, Sisters of the House of Judah. Shalom. We're here and we continue to grow. And you know, and the, you know, the next sister that comes in as well, she'll get in. You know, she'll be able to bond, you know, with us and grow with us as well. But like I said, a lot of people, you know, and that's and I and I think the most high, that's nothing that we've ever experienced where it's like, oh, y'all know, y'all just doing that for the camera. Yes, and, and I, I'm not thank God that we never experienced that. Shalom. What's your name? What's your name? You gotta talk to. It's a B.O.B. Dutch.